Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Atlantis 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Broom build. And the last time we saw this, we painted the oil pan of the engine and the bottom of the transmission, or the, the fake motor and transmission that it has. Yeah, you know, my dogs are barking. Probably because I'm doing laundry, they don't like the sound of the washing machine going. Um, let me check on them real quick. Yeah, the only thing that freaks them out more is the dishwasher, actually. They really don't like the sound of that thing. Anyways, um, back to this. We painted the engine and transmission. And in this episode, we are going... I have decided I am going to bare metal foil the exhaust system and the fuel tank. I'm going with the matte aluminum bare metal foil. And I may tape it off and dull coat it after the uh, application. Because it kind of gave it a oxid, not oxidized, but would it be oxidized? Kind of gave it a nice dull weathered, but it looked like polished, or it looked like aluminum. And actually, this looks like polished aluminum, and I'm thinking of doing the, the actual top of the car in the bare metal foil because it's got them lines in it that I'm looking for. I don't think I can paint it and replicate the look of polished uh, stainless steel um, through paint. So anyways, I'm really going off on a rant here. We're going to go from the engine to the mufflers and then in the next episode we'll go from the mufflers all the way back to the resonators and to the where the tips would be so I think we will start with the mufflers and let's kind of measure to get the right amount here we don't want to waste too much if we don't have to and I'm gonna get another one about the same I don't want it the wrinkly part though Let's avoid the wrinkly part. You go like that. And this will be our mufflers. So let's let's see how this goes. I googled to see if anybody's bare metal foiled the exhaust before on their model cars. I got a bunch of pictures of just the window trim and whatnot. I'm sure it's been done before. So we're gonna see how it looks. We'll start with this, and if it if it looks too uh, doesn't look right, then maybe I'll just mask it off and paint it. Cause I don't think my I think my hands are too shaky to try to make the exhaust look good. Struggling to get this started today. Come on. There we go. Now we got a good piece of it. So let's I'm try not to get too much in the way here, too. Let's get that muffler covered here. Yeah, I don't think that'll look too bad. This is the matte aluminum bare metal foil again. Um, so it's not like it's the chromey chrome. I'm going to do the actual trim of the car in the ultra bright chrome bare metal foil. I guess I'm going to say that this thing is um, I'm going to pretend that this just came from the exhaust shop and got a whole new exhaust system on it. So it's kind of nice looking yet. It doesn't have that I don't know if oxidize is the right word that I want. You know how it kind of turns. That uh, whitish. 
color over time. part laid down all right here I said I wasn't gonna touch the body of the car too much and here I'm doing it anyway okay that part actually cut I think it's all right it's on the where we want it this line. We don't want a wrinkly muffler. <laughs> Excuse me. So I think what I'll do is I got a new blade in my knife. I'm actually going to cut this here. Cut it back here. Try to fold this over. Let's see if I can't rub this down a little better. It's kind of a tight fit in there. It's not so bad. That's a nice sharp blade. I like that. Really nice sharp blade there. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip that off because we're gonna probably use that for this part here. for this one. There. And this should pretty much peel off how we want it. That one we're not going to be able to reuse this. there and then let's peel this one back. Oh, don't lay it on there. Peel that back like so. I don't know what's going on with my sinuses lately, but maybe it's that time of year. Push that back down. And I don't think I could have painted a better line than that. I was afraid of overspray too. I thought about, well, we'll just why don't we just do the alcohol or not alclad, but some like a stainless paint color and <clears throat> just mask it off and paint it. But then I was afraid of overspray. Now I want to keep the body on this towel so I don't scratch the paint up too terrible. I need 
about half this. Let's go this way with you. And I missed it. But I think it'll be fine. Actually, this one I want to try to get in here because I kind of cut it wrong. toothpick here and see if I can't hopefully don't there we go that'll work That's what I want, but is it going to stay? It did. Excellent. Nice. I get the fuzzies from the. Um. That thing. What am I trying to say? Q-tip. Off there, and we'll be good. Let's see on this one if I can get the. not uh, cut that this time we don't really want it to stick to the frame there either because otherwise we can't get it to fold in there let's see if I can get inside it before it hits the, the deal yeah that sounds so bad Move it around that muffler So, so I'm going to 
try to, there we go. That's what I wanted to do originally. I really prefer that it fold over the front of there like this one did. This one actually folded over really well. Like that. This one broke more. See if I can get my tooth back in here and just kind of flatten this out a little bit. Get a better line. Or cut it. That'll work too. fingernail and we'll just follow that line maybe good shot on the top of my head probably and then we'll just kind of curve this around and cut it like this and we're gonna have to do some folding over I bet spot. Did I not cut it well enough? Ah, there we go. That'll work. Let's get a new Q-tip. One that isn't all fuzzing up on us. Well, we got a couple of mufflers. It pulled over halfway decent. Yeah, that one isn't horrible. Let's kind of fix this. No, we don't want that on the body. Let's get rid of that. Now, let's see, those are for the middle, I intended. Where'd my other strips go? Here's one. I think we'll go cut it in half there. And Go one on each side. Oh wow, we got 20 minutes in this already. I think originally I was gonna do this in one video. That'd be over an hour. Trouble getting this one started. There we go. Get that out of there. 
Turn the model this way. And try to get the wrinkle out of it. And then we go like this. down up to the frame and I can get the wrinkle in frame portion like that and that's a piece of frame actually it does go over it though I wasn't expecting that. Okay. So now, gotta fix this mess. Side the same way. And I tore that part up. That might work. We'll see. Let's see how bad this turns out. It's peeling that up. Need a better line here. Like that. There we go. Oh, that's a, that's a big old mess. I don't know. We may just tear it off and paint it. The way this is going. I thought it'd be easy to bare metal foil it, but... I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Oh, there you go. Lay it down. It don't look too bad. I kind of like the look of it. It looks like real metal. But I don't like the... I'm... Took a chunk out of that. So that's on me.
lot of little, there's two small little frame pieces here and kind of got over it. Fold it over. That ain't so bad. I have to just do a little uh Yeah, just a little bit there where the frame was. Get rubbed in there real good. Other than that, I really like the look of it. It looks like a uh, metal exhaust. So, let's take a little piece and, well, first let's get this going. Let's get the other front side. But I will say it probably would have been less work to just mask it off and spray it. And it's such a tight, uh, there's a lot going on here. Let's get a little bit of this one. To fix our fix this side a little bit because I kind of kind of got a little crazy there. Cut off way more than I wanted. Until my my table's not square. Just want this on this side just to fill in that gap much better let's put you there so you don't roll around shoot that seam up a little bit there we go I didn't want you to fold over though. And we'll have to fix that line like that. So, So there, we got the one side, now let's see if we can do better on the other side. A little bit of fuzzy right there, the Q-tip, there we go, get rid of that. Okay, now, half an hour just to do this part. Forgot to get rid of this one. I'm 
Much better. So now let's go with another Q-tip because it's starting to... that. Get rid of those and get our knife out. A little bit here by the frame. Move that down a little bit better. that Ooh, you know I'm concentrating hard when I'm not talking. slow because you just never know. Oh wow, that one really stuck to my finger. This might be a three-part series as long as this is taken. smoother the second time around. Way better the second time. A lot better. make a big old mess on these little frame pieces on this side. I think we'll call that a video. That's the uh, got a little bit here where the manifolds, where it goes to the manifolds. I think I wanna, well, I guess just on this side. And then we got a little bit here between the mufflers and that frame piece. But we're gonna we're gonna do them in other videos. Now that this part's done, I think I'll start. I need to paint the starter yet too. I forgot about that. But I think we'll do the exhaust first. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And see you guys next time.